सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई होप इट्स अ गुड मॉर्निंग एंड अ वेरी रिलैक्स मॉर्निंग आफ्टर सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी हैड बीन वेटिंग फॉर देर वॉज सो मच ऑफ स्ट्रेस एंड सो मेनी स्लीपलेस नाइट्स आई नो सम ऑफ यू मस्ट नॉट हैव स्लेप्ट येस्टरडे ऑल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट और क्यूरियासिटी वेन विल द रिजल्ट आउट वट विल द आंसर्स हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन वी हैव डन करेक्ट हाउ मेनी आर रॉन्ग so here we are with the ophthalmology questions so what is your say how was ophthalmology this time i think questions uh, came from the straight forward topics uh nothing more twist was there yeah but uh, i think um, in my perspective paper would could have been better uh they could have asked better questions but uh, whatever questions came they were straight forward ज़्यादा ट्विस्ट नहीं था और आई थिंक ऑफ्थेलमोलॉजी वॉज नॉट द प्रॉब्लम दिस टाइम वट यू से आई केम लाइव यास्टरडे मे बी यू पीपल हैव मिस्ड सात्विक आई केम लाइव यस्टरडे पूछने आई थी मैं हाउ वॉज योर पेपर बट यू वर मिसिंग एक्चुअली आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट यू सो यू डिड नॉट चेक डिट easy questions the of tha was good kuch aisa tha that kabhi nahi suna ma'am ne nahi padhaya nahi discuss kiya i think so many image based questions this time na most of the of tha was image based uh, in each of the question and i personally uh, to be very frank i felt very good because you know around the year when you are revising the things with the students again and again you are showing those pictures and then you get five of those pictures in the exam i cannot explain what is the feeling so that was a very good feeling and uh, i think you will agree with me those images were uh, some were exactly the same that i showed you in the classes like jaise ki bite out spots wala and some were very very similar अफ्ताल गुटा सो कैसा था पेपर प्लीज शेयर योर कॉमेंट्स ऑल्सो मीन वाइल वी कैन स्टार्ट विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वन मोर डिस्कलेमर सी दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव गॉट यू आफ्टर टॉकिंग टू यू कन्वर्जिंग विद यू इंटरक्टिंग विद सो मेनी ऑफ यू आई कैम लाइव ऑल्सो एंड on the uh, interact so these paper these questions are memory based so if i am wrong anywhere please let me know okay so that i can correct please see the options the image the language of the question and if you have any feedback regarding the improvement of any of them please let me know yeah actually kya hota hai ki every time na you start preparing for anything then they suddenly change their pattern abhi kya tha ki uh, last time tak they were not asking any clinical scenarios and then we did lot of practice and then suddenly they changed uh, but not a problem the paper that came actually was known to you na papers to always they will have the crest and trough dip aate rahenge but um, हाँ एफ एम जी वाला दे आर गिविंग लाइक द नीड पी जी दे आर गिविंग मोर क्लिनिकल सीनारियोज एंड पी जी वालों को दे आर गिविंग लाइक दिस एक्चुअली आई थिंक दे आर लिटिल कन्फ्यूज कि कैसा पेपर देना है एंड सम ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट्स वर लाइक कि स्टूडेंट्स वर सेंग कि आर आर दे एक्सपेक्टिंग अस टू बी एच ओ डीज ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट है ना कुछ ऐसे सब्जेक्ट्स भी आए थे ना येस और नो दे दे से स्टूडेंट्स वर सेंग कि मैम दे दे थॉट दैट वी आर एच ओ डीज ऑफ दैट डिपार्टमेंट okay so this intervention ya yeah, this surgery is done for so what is this actually this is your intex hi sandeep so here the answer to this question is your keratoconus please check the image also please see the options and let me know if you remember the fourth option i could not get the fourth option this one if anybody is knowing what is the fourth option please let me know so this surgery is done for keratoconus what is this this is your intax so if you remember in the refractive surgery we have discussed this intax right it is your intrastromal corneal rings 
Now, what happens in the keratoconus? If you look here, instead of the cornea being something like this, we have got increased conical protrusion in the cornea. So, what we are having here, we are having the increased axial length of the cornea and also we will have the irregular as well as we also have the irregular surface of the cornea. Now due to the increased axial length, I will have the myopia. The refractive status of this patient will be myopia. And due to the irregular surface, I will have the astigmatism. So this patient is going to have myopia and astigmatism. Right? This is what we did. Now because of this uneven surface, this patient will have astigmatism. We will have steepening of the cornea also. So how will I correct this? So I will have to reduce this central steepening. I have to reduce this central steepening because increased steepening will lead to increased power and increased power will lead to the myopia. So for this we are giving this kind of um, structure. What we are giving can you see a similar kind of picture that we did in the refractive surgeries intracorneal stromal rings are there. So these um, intrastromal corneal rings, how will they work? Actually, I, I think I have uh, tried to explain to you that if this is the corneal surface, we are creating the hinges like this. So instead of this, now it is becoming like this. We are reducing the central corneal curvature and that is why we are doing the reduction in the steepening, flattening of the central cornea. This is the profile and uh, the main indication that we are doing for the keratoconus. Now, what are the other treatments that we can do for keratoconus? For the um, keratoconus, what are the other treatment thing? See, I can give the rigid contact lenses, right? So, if the patient is having the intolerance to these contact lenses, if the patient is having intolerance to the contact lenses, I can have this um, intact or uh, we can also do the lamellar keratoplasty lamellar or the penetrating lamellar keratoplasty or the penetrating keratoplasty so as an alternate to this also i can do so in all those patients who are having this intolerance to the contact lenses or as an alternate to keratoplasty i can give this but there are certain problems, okay? Every thing has a problem. So these are the two main indications that we are doing the index. But please note down for future, what are the poor candidates for the index? Poor candidates are those who are having the central scarring or paracentral scarring. So I'm using the central area. So if that area is already scarred, then that candidate will be considered as a poor candidate. Okay? Then the thickness, if the thickness is already very, very less in the central cornea. So if I'm having less than 450 microns, then also you should not use it. Number three. If it's a progressive disease, then after some time, the person will require the surgery again. And a very important thing, if the steepness is accounting for the power more than 58 diopters, if it is accounting to the power more than 58 diopters, then also we should not do it. So these are the four things which is giving me. Last option was. Corneal atrophy hai or corneal dystrophy hai? Is it corneal atrophy or corneal dystrophy? Please see. Corneal dystrophy. So that can be your fourth one. And um, these are the poor candidates for the index. Okay? Clear hai?